Hey guys, it's I have King O'Hearn here, and I'm doing a video today on a Mac OS X Mountain Lion. This Mac OS X Mountain Lion is the next version of the Lion, and I'll be doing a review of it. And first of all, I gotta say it's a lot better than Lion, heck of a lot better. So we're gonna look at some at most of the features today. We'll see what we can look at. As you guys can see, it is Mac OS X Mountain Lion because it is version 10.8. But they removed the word Mac because the Apple, all Apple refers to now is just OS X. And those are my specs. So, first thing I want to talk about is dictation. Now, the dictation is uh, on the iPhone and iPad, the new iPad, and Apple was brought into the Mac. It's not Siri, but it's, it's Siri dictation. So I basically will extend it to all, your, to all the servers and everything. So, let's take a look at that. To use dictation, all you do is just push the function key twice. And then the little microphone will come up. So let's try it. This is a test in text set of Mac OS X Lion. As you guys can see, it actually did really well. It's very, very accurate. Let's try a different sentence. I went to work today at 3 o'clock in the morning on a Monday night. Very accurate. So that's, um, that is dictation. That's like one of the most useful features. And you can use it in every application. So let's try, let's try a spotlight. 3 plus 3. Simple as that. Um, and also, Mountain Lion, another feature is is a notification center, which um, I like, but I'm not. I don't really use it that much. But they basically brought it from the iPhone, iOS 5 to the Mac. So basically, it, it will it will basically show you all your notifications, like the iPhone does. So basically, if I, as if I were able to get like a call right now on FaceTime or. Get, look at it at an email or a message it would basically alert me and notification center is right there they've also integrated Facebook into it also integrated Facebook into OS10 Mountain Lion but we won't be seeing that until later on in the fall Twitter integration is included they have new wallpapers as well as new screensavers. Another feature I want to talk about is Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper allows um, is basically a prevent a protection system in, on the Mac that Apple introduced. So basically, it allows you to block applications from like unidentified developers that won't open. For, so, for example. I have it right now set to Mac App Store and, and I identify developers. So if I were to open this file right now, it's downloaded package right here. I would be able to do it because it said it's an unidentified developer. It would tell me security preferences allow installation of only apps in the App Store. So basically, I would have to change that setting, then I could open it up again. So that's Gatekeeper. It's pretty helpful. Safari has changed. Basically, on Safari 5 and older versions, you can basically see there is a Google search bar right here, but not anymore. This is basically the URL and search field now. So, if I was going to search for OS 10 Mountain Lion, it would show me that, and I just push enter like that. So, pretty much that's where uh, the search bar field is now. They removed SS RSS from a Safari. I don't know why, they just removed it. Reader is in here. Oh yeah, speaking of that, they've actually integrated iCloud into this. So basically, if you have like, if, let's say like surfing on, an, surfing a website on Safari on the Mac, and basically it would send the stuff from the Mac on the website from Safari to your iPad. It's pretty helpful. There's another, and there's another new feature as well, which is tabs. So if I was Tabs has a new interesting view, so if I were to click this right here, I can find it. Right here, I was to click this, I would get a preview 
of what's happening on my page. It's pretty cool. Not that much of an interest, but it's nice. Messages. Messages replaces iChat. So basically, you could do iMessage now from the from the iPhone. Well, actually, they brought it to the Mac, so you can do iMessage now from the Mac, just like you would do on your iPhone or iPad. And you have all the other services like AIM, Jabber, so on and so forth. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is reminders. They brought that into OS 10 Mountain Lion from the iPhone and iPad and iOS, obviously. But I really wouldn't use this. I mean, it's nice, but I just don't really see a benefit of using reminders on the Mac because, I mean, like I know they would basically integrate seamlessly. Problem is, is that I just don't really see a use for reminders on the Mac. It basically sync everything. So they brought notes to the Mac from the iPhone and iPad and such. What else? What else? What else have they done? Oh yeah. If I were to type something like. Remember how everybody remembers how they used to have save, you know, like you know, save and save as and so on. So basically, now that if you push the option key, you can now quick save as. Because that line had save, you couldn't save as anything else. So they brought save as back, and you could save as whatever thing you want to do, like whatever file format you want to do. And it still has auto save and such. Launchpad that has a of improvement. They have a search bar now. Dashboard. They have some, it has like a new view, and you could just like remove icons and such the way you want to do it, like iOS. What else? They've integrated updates into the App Store now. So basically, software update is removed. It's right there, but it's now in the App Store. What else is new? In security and privacy, you also have a new setting. It is for privacy, which allows you to show location services. So, like if you were like at college or something. It could like for, this is where an example where you where reminders would come in. So let's say like you're at college and it would say you know turn in this assignment at this class and such. So basically you could use location services to use the geofence around the place. It'll alert you right there. It's kind of cool. Like I said, they have integrated iCloud into Mountain Lion. Not that, not that much else has changed. Not that much else has changed. But I gotta say, it is very, very, very improved. Oh yeah, one more, a few other things. Address book has been renamed to contacts. iCal has been renamed to calendar. So not, not that much change there, but. In preview, you can also fill out forms now, but I don't have any forms to show you guys. But you can fill out forms now. Also, they've uh, for Chinese people, they've uh, integrated new languages. We've got more security. So Mountain Lion is pretty much just it's pretty much just like an inter incremental update to to Lion. I would say that it is very recommended because I've tested it and it's I'm running right now. It's I love it. It's giving me no problems. It's giving me no problems at all. Number of requirements on Mountain Lion. So if you guys are upgraded to Mountain Lion, this is what you would need. A 64-bit Intel Core 2 Duo processor, or better. 
ability to boot into 64-bit kernel, not the 32-bit kernel, but the 64-bit kernel by default. Advanced GPU chipset required, internet connection to download and install, OS 10.6.8. This is what will support Mountain Lion. The 13-inch MacBook Pro 2009, mid-2009 or later, 15 and 17 from late 2007 or later. MacBook Air late 2008 or newer, iMac mid 2007 or newer, MacBook 13 inch aluminum, not the uni, not the MacBook aluminum, not the unibody. Actually, I don't think they ever made a unibody. Oh yeah, they did make a, they did make a unibody, but the uni, the aluminum 13 inch 2008-2009 or newer, MacBook's pretty much dead. So Mac Mini early 2009 or newer, Mac Pro early 2008 or newer, Xer early 2009 or newer. The Macs that won't be used in Mountain Lion is anything with an Intel GMA 950 chipset or X 1300, 3100 graphics card. Anything with the ATR Radeon X 1600, MacBook models prior to 2008, Mac Mini released prior to 2007, iMac released prior to 2007, the original MacBook Air. So, you guys have this stuff right here, you guys won't be able to upgrade. I know it sucks, but some of you guys won't, won't be able to, but... Anyways, this has been my review on Mountain Lion, and I just gotta say, it's a great, great upgrade. Go for it, guys. Talk to you guys again soon.